Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you a tip on how to design or how to discover your life purpose and the science of goal achievement. So today we have a public holiday in Ireland and if you're in Ireland I hope you've enjoyed your long weekend. It's a beautiful weather here and we took time out with uh, my fiance. We went to a park and it really struck me that everywhere I go I actually take books with me, personal development books. And I remember when I was looking for my life purpose and wondering what should I commit my life to, I heard Bob Proctor saying, find out what you love to do and commit your life to it. And that for me is personal development. Even when I'm going to bed, when I'm uh, falling asleep, I have books beside my on my bedside ta table. If I'm going to the park and I'm spending time off, going on holidays, I study, I read, I continuously develop myself. And to do trainings in this area to get better is actually full of joy and full of fun for me. So for me, doing personal development, training personal development, teaching personal development is not like work. It doesn't feel like work. It actually feels very uh, joyful. And I want you to think about you and your life purpose. Have you found it yet? Now, if you haven't, I have a simple exercise that you might want to have a look at. Or maybe if you feel you have, you can do this exercise anyway and check if it's the right direction. So how do you typically figure out what your life purpose is? You ask yourself three questions and you want to do it in a very relaxed state, maybe for a week or two or even a month every day with a cup of tea. You want to take a blank sheet of paper and ask yourself three questions. Question number one. What am I good at? What are some of the skills that I'm really good at? Are you good at organizing, communicating? Are you good at um, fixing things, manual? What are you good at? And if you don't know those things, maybe ask those people that you respect and they respect you and ask them, what are my skills and talents? What am I really good at? The second question, so you can divide, you can have your paper divided into three columns and uh, in one column you may write out what am I good at. The second column, what do I love to do even if nobody paid me? What do you love to do? I love personal development. I love studying personal development. I love growing. I love discovering how to manifest better and teaching it. Even if no one paid me, I love doing that. What do you love to do? Maybe you love to do makeup. Maybe you love helping people. What do you love to do? Maybe you like fixing cars. And then the third one, or maybe entertaining people. The third one is uh, how can I do, so let's say your uh, financial goal, if you have certain financial goal that you want to be earning per month or per year, maybe you decide I want to be earning 5,000 per month, 10,000, 100,000, whatever it is. How can I take a job or a profession or a business that would allow me to combine the two columns and allow me to earn the money that I want to earn. So you're taking literally in, th in three columns, you have one column which says, what are you good at? Like, what are your skills and talents? The second one, what do you love to do? And the third one, how much do you want to earn per month and per year? And then every day you're sitting with it with a cup of tea and you're thinking, how can I put this together? What is the, some of the professions or what is a business that can put this all together? You might actually come up with several different, uh, several different areas or several different um, uh, professions that can actually combine these things. But I tell you this, if you do something that you're naturally skilled at, if you combine it with doing something that you truly love to do and you get paid what you want, you definitely find, found your purpose and you're going to enjoy it every day. 80% of population dislike what they do and they spend majority of their lives doing it. You don't want to be that. You want to be that person, that 20% that loves what they're doing. So I hope you enjoyed this exercise. Even if you already believe that you've discovered your life purpose, I would encourage you to do this for a week and really reconfirm. Now, this brings me to the science of goal achieving because discovering your life purpose is the first thing. But then how do you make it happen? So maybe you decide, you know what, I just want to teach people all over the world, help them bust through their challenges and help them design their life the way they want. 
just like me. Maybe you decide that's what you want to do and you want to be speaking on stages and you want to be coaching globally and you want to live the life of freedom location free. If you decide to do this, which is going to be the manifestation or reflection of your life purpose, fulfillment of your life purpose, how do you do that? And that's where we go into the science of goal achieving. There is actually a science, a step-by-step process, how you can design and you can fulfill every single goal you have. And I'm actually talking about big goals, not just how do I get a better job, which pays me 10% more. How do I multiply? How do I fulfill my life purpose? How do I attract my love partner? How do I do, how do I get what I really want in life and do not settle? And what I will be doing, on the 14th of August here in Dublin, I will be running a special live event called the Science of Goal Achieving. So first of all, you definitely want to look at designing your life purpose and deciding what that purpose is. But then we want to fulfill it. We want you to like, you want to be fulfilling your dreams. You don't want to just be coming up with them and designing them. You want to live them. That's the true living. Everything else is just passing the time. So I'm going to pop a link under this video. If you're in Dublin, if you're in Ireland and you have the time to join us on the 14th of August, this is pure gold. You definitely want to be with us. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the exercise and I'm looking forward to seeing some of you on the Science of Goal Achieving at the Science of Goal Achieving event. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your Bank Holiday Monday. Take care.